stuff and shit because motherfucker fucking around and all this dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. One motherfucking lady. This was made to do it. When that motherfucker... Hey, 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 I'm back. It's your boy DJ Bowlegs, truck driver the wheelchair. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back with another video. And I'm sitting here with uh, a young lady that's been a very, very instrumental part of the Chicago West Side community. She's done countless, and countless, and countless things for the homeless, for the incarcerated, and she worked with all the aldermen, the congressmen. She, she's been... She even been around President Obama before he was a fucking president. You know what I'm saying? This lady know everybody. And she always kept these big mansions to have people come home from pr prison when they ain't got no way to go. They come to her and she take care of them. And she got a real, real nice success rate. A lot of these people leave her house and go on to be productive members of society. And that's the main thing. They get back into the world and learn how to live without using drugs and without going back to the penitentiary. You know what I mean? So I ain't gonna talk all the story. I'm gonna let her tell you a little bit right quick. We're gonna have a little small interview with her, all right? And if you don't know who I'm talking about, Miss Regina, that's what they call her. Here she go, right here. What's up, Miss Regina? How's it going? Hey, everything is okay. How y'all doing out there? And so tell them, what, tell them how long you've been in the business and what kind of business you do. Well, May the 22nd of May, 30 years. What? 30 years I have been doing this since 1992. I, bottom line, I help people get their life together. Yeah. I have uh, several facilities. I have a men facility, women's facility. I have independent houses. I have scatter sites. I have, um, bottom line, the homeless. Under the umbrella of homeless, we got, we got ex-offenders, former offenders. Mm hmm We have battered women. Right. Um... You name it, I house it. Right. Whatever problem that you got that caused you to get in that situation of being homelessness, right? That's what I do. You try to get and them out of it. Get them out of it. And see, back in the day, under the umbrella of Ashanti, I just don't do that. It what's was, the name of What's the name of your company again? Ashanti Residential. Ooh, Max. ain't Ashanti an African name? Yes, it is. Ooh. And look, and the and the king, Ashanti. Uh huh. Give you a little. A little history about Ashanti. Okay. The Ashanti tribe. They they the one that started the the chief. He the uh -huh. one started all the chiefs come together. All leaders. Right. Come together instead of them fighting. At the round table. At the round table. Yes sir. Yes sir. And a stool fell from the sky onto his lap, uh -huh. and that's why he became kings of kings. Okay. Okay. So we all kings. Yes, we are. We all queens. Yes, we are. You know, especially us that's in recovery. Yes. We're the chosen ones because we made a sound decision. A sound. To get our lives together. That's right. That's right. And you know, we no longer got to look back. We no longer got to look over our heads, mm -hmm. turn our, you know, turn our shoulders and worry about what's happening. Right. On this side here. Right. You know, I just love what I do, Bolivar. And what's this big old thing behind you? Oh, uh, this right Ooh, here. This look is at that the big old facility. place right there. I got a Diamonds in the Rough program for the children. I took the took the city lots and made me a playground myself. Right. Made your own then playground. made my own playground. How, how, big, how many bedrooms do you have in this big old mansion? It used to can hold 27 women. It was zoned for that. Right, but how many but bedrooms you got? over the years, uh, it's about 14 in there. 14 bedrooms? Yeah. The yeah. more beds, the more people. Yes, sir. And not only that, I have all walks of life. Right. People of color, whatever it is. Right, I see you got a lot of, oh, you, got, yeah. you got every nationality over there on exactly. that porch. Exactly, look. I'm looking at them. State Representative LaShawn Ford just left him over. He said, why don't you put all the flags up there, all these right, people? Right, right, you got all these people. Made me think about it. Yeah, I'm going to go on over to represent everybody. You know what I'm saying? Put all the flags up. Yeah. I see you got your black, black, red, and green. I oh, see yes, you. Yes. I see you. So you I'm know, I go on and put me a little Hispanic up there, a little right. Mexican. Right, right. You know, I got some Polish everybody. people in there. You want everybody? Yeah. Yeah, okay. we might as well. And you've been doing this 30 all, years? Yeah, they all need help. Yeah, they all need help. You know, I got some in here ain't never used drugs, but they homeless. They homeless, though. Due right. to even this pandemic. Right, right. You know, so, hey, I help and do whatever I can do. Whatever you need, we feed the community every first Wednesday. But you guys that need food and stuff, come see me. What's that address? 
49, 44, West Huron Street. Every Wednesday. Every first every, Wednesday. Every first Wednesday, we, I mean, from butter, cheese, to everything. They line up. Uh, line up, baby. I'm going to come back over here and get that footage. Oh, yeah. You got to. Get everybody all lined the meats, up. All the meat. Show them the good you're and, doing in the hood. Yeah. And if somebody, y'all know somebody that's hungry, mm -hmm. need some food. Right. Send them to me. Send them to you. I make them a care package. Okay. From the meat to the eggs to the butter to the grits, all of that. Okay. 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 I believe you. know, I've been oh, knowing yeah. you oh, too yeah. many years. And and I noticed you got a uh, uh, transportation company. Yeah, I formed a transportation company because, like I was saying, it was something uh, to get a job. Right. So I talked to a lot of the factories, owners of factories. Right. And believe in a second chance. Right. So I network with five uh, factories. Different and I factories. take them to and from work. You know, I know I used to drive for you. Oh, yeah. You know, I know. Yes. You, they look, they work. And yes. we, we take we take eight in, pick up eight, bring them home. That's it. That's take it. another eight in or ten in and bring them back home. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So. I know you did it, and you're still doing it. Yeah. And you know she good, because, look, I remember when she had a 2007 minivan. Then she went to the 2014s and 2016 minivans. And now, I'm going to point this out. She got a 2022. Right there, right yeah. there. Got three of them. 2022 vans. Okay, yeah. And awesome. you got three of them, right? Yeah. Brand new, y'all. Look at that. Yeah. Look at yes. that. So the we, transportation business doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, because we take people to it from their doctor's appointments, too. So oh, it's, see, it's yeah. an expanded. Right. Now, I got a catering company. Uh-oh, wait and a minute I'm, now. Wait a uh, minute. Don't uh, tell me you can cook. Huh. Understatement. 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 We, the Congressman Danny Davis, personal caterer. Oh, you know, I know. Cater everything. I know. Every so time he do something. Issues, yes. Yes. And for even the community. I seen you do a, uh event for Danny Davis, and we was on 16th and Cosme at the community center one time. Yeah. And you did, if you didn't have $5,000 worth of food in there, you had so many pots going on that damn stove. Hey. You had stuff all lined up, ready to go. You had like 40 pans of food, chicken, all kind of stuff, man. I was like... God dang. But that man, he always yeah. called on you because yes. he know yours going to be right. Hey, and, and from, look, from the Rudy to the Tootie. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yeah, that's his, that'd be his Christmas party. Right. The back to school parade. Back to school parade, That's yeah. when I got to cook for over 500 people. Right. And all that. And, yeah. hey, and we do an excellent spread. I know you do. You've been excellent. doing it for years. And you know why? Mm. Because here in the penitentiary, people take up culinary. Yes, they do. So they go a job. Some of the best cooks is in the penitentiary. Huh. You know, I've been to the joint. So I've been good. to the joint. Look, yeah. I've been to the joint, and on New Year's Eve, I ate some dog on black eyed peas from this guy who made them, and he made them in a uh, in a coffee pot. He huh. made them in a coffee pot, and I promise you, that was the best noodle. I mean, best uh, black eyed peas I ever looked. When I say best black eyed peas I ever tasted in my life, I had them in the penitentiary. So I ain't sitting up here telling y'all I'm some. I've been to the penitentiary. I'm a street guy. I got college sense. I've been to college, but also I got the best of both worlds. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I ain't, I ain't. I know about the streets, and I know about the penitentiary. I know about street life, and I got book smart also. So it's good to have both. You know what I mean? Me. It's good to have both. Yes, it's definitely good to have both. Yes. And 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 when I tell you the best cooks is in the pen, I'm telling you, it's some fabulous yes. cooks in the penitentiary. And, and don't get me wrong, I had an X on my back, Bolin. Mm -hmm. I thank God for executive clemency. Right. So for us that have these Xs, mm -hmm. don't think you can't get them expunged or sealed or really none exists. None Especially exists. Especially when you're doing what you're the supposed right. to do yep. the right yep. way. Yeah. I had a chance hey. to get mine done, and I didn't even do the paperwork. I was like, because I always had my own business and everything, so I was like, man, I don't care nothing about that. Yeah, but you need to do it. Yeah, I know. You I still, I still it. might do it. Yeah, do yeah. it, do yeah. it. You know, cause then what? The, what the review board gonna do? He's gonna tell you, say, turn around, sir, and talk to the audience and let them know what you do. Right. And and they need to hear that. Right. They need to hear. It. Right. They need to hear. It. Right. right. They need to hear. And especially now, I'm working with our kids. Right. You know, they need to hear our stories. Yes, they, they do. They need to see where we came from. Yep, and these kids and, need and to that, get some guidance. That's it. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of us say, what was passed down to me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't paid. I'd have passed it down to my son. Thank God my mama raised it. Because I was too busy doing me. Right. 
And a lot of us did that. Yeah. You know, when they took out of the school prayer. Yeah. I got, I got an eight. I remember used to pray. I used to pray. Yes. We used to pray in school. Yeah. When I was a baby, a shorty, we used to pray in school. Yeah. But do you not know I got 18s and 20s on my premises? Yeah. They say they have, I say, they have no fear. When I say no fear. None. 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 I say you believe in God. They say, who is that? Right. My Lord. They got to have fear in Look, something. I took them to church first time ever, both of them. Right. Ever been inside of a, a church. church. First time. First time. Wow. So we got our work cut out because yeah. these kids don't fear nothing. No, they don't. But we got to come on with it. You got to come on we with gotta it. We got to help them. Yep. Got to help them. Got to help them. Got to do something. Got, something got to change. Something got to turn around. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, it, it just can't stay the same old way. Because uh, it, no. it ain't going nowhere. It's like a no. spiral going straight down in the ground. Exactly. And like they're spiraling down. They're steady going down, 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 down. And, and you don't hear nothing good about the youth. Uh-uh. And then the killing part. I thank God I know the system I taught me. The system. They only gave us 50 years. Right. This is the 53rd year. Right. The penitentiary now is privately owned. Don't know state owner. No, no, no. Every no. bed is is broke. It's a, it's about money. It's about money. Yes, sir. So yes, one sir. One six feet up. I remember when the penitentiary yes. got put on the spot market. That's what I'm talking about. Back in the 90s. Exactly. Yeah, and so, you was able to buy stock in the penitentiary. That's right. And that's when that my man was locking everybody up back in the 90s. They were huh. locking everybody now, up. Now, they done got it. That's why they, they put the guns in our, in our neighborhood. Yeah, so everybody can go to jail again. Uh, there you go. Right. If this boy, he done killed him, I go give him six years. He ain't no more 14, 15, 21 years old. Right. I got 60 years. I'm right. getting ready to get paid. Off him. And they get 60000 Per bed. Per bed. Stop playing. Per See, bed. I ain't got no problem with telling them what's going right, on. Right, right. They better wake the fuck up. Excuse right. my French, y'all. No, you can say your French on here. Right. This is my YouTube channel. You can oh, say your French shit. on here. Oh, shit. I could have been myself. <laughs> you being yourself. Yeah. You can say your French, but you know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's the truth. And I, I said this to somebody yeah. a while back. I said, don't you know when you go to jail, the state get paid off of you? Yes. You're not a person anymore. You become a number. That's, That's it. all you is is a number to them. That's a it. number and some dollars. Right. You know what I mean? So I tell people, man, when you gonna take over, take back your life? That's it. That's take it, your bro. life back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. I took mine back. And yes. You can take yours back. And me I ain't too. no different than you. That's it. Yeah. So so That's look, y'all. I'm gonna end this video. Yeah. This gonna be part one. Then we're going to come back. We're going to do a walkthrough of the premises and the facilities and stuff like that. Yeah. And we're going to let y'all get to know this lady on a on a deeper level because she's been doing a lot of good in the community for a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of years, man. Yeah. And I'm talking about what I know. I ain't talking about what I heard. I'm talking about what I know. So on that note, peace out, and I'll come back to y'all later on. Bye. All right, hey, it's your boy DJ Boleg. Look, truck driver, the wheelchair, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm still over here with Miss Regina, and we was talking to her. And I told you she know everybody. She told you she know all the congressmen, state reps, and all that good stuff. Look who pulled up. State representative, LaShawn Ford. What's up, LaShawn? Hello, Leg. Hi. Right. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Good, good. They say you running again. I'm running again. Yeah. So what you what's your what's your what you uh, uh what you uh what's your campaign about? You know, it's all about black people, people, and our communities uplifting our community. Okay. You know, we definitely have to make sure everybody eats. Okay. You know, it's all about making sure everybody's able to eat, and when people can eat, people are safe. Okay. Now I I got a question. I always heard all these different titles. What exactly does a state rep do? I'm glad you asked. We don't do garbage. We don't do rats and potholes. Right. But we do make public policy. Okay. We make public policy in Springfield. We do the budget for the state. Okay. And we send the money to the city uh, and the county uh, and to school districts okay. and the park districts. Okay. And we deal with the Department of Corrections. We deal with the Department of Human Services. When people have Medicaid problems, right, we deal with that. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're in there because you probably, you know, made some policies for me. Because you know, I was driving truck, driving truck, and when I got that uh, cert, that um, surgery over at University of Illinois, I end up in a wheelchair. You know what I mean? And I'm telling you, my Medicaid. I ain't. I had never been on Medicaid in my life. Well, it's I've been a good working. Thing. People don't I've been understand. working. I didn't know. Yeah. You know, I used to hear all you the don't bad have no stuff. Bills, do you? 
No, I don't. <laughs> right. That's look, look, I had a $35,000 surgery. This wheelchair I got costs over $3,500. People need to understand. And if and it fits me. It's made, tailor-made for me and me only. Guess what? And that's what people got to realize. I know that we wanted more from President Obama. Right. But President Obama made it possible for men mm -hmm. to get health insurance. I'm telling you. And, and, and they take care of me. Yeah. If it wasn't for President Obama... You know, there was a time where men were able to get Medicaid, right. but they cut it out. Right. And they only made it for women with children. With children. And so when President Obama came in, he fought for health care for all. Okay. The people that benefit the most are people on Medicaid. So if you are unemployed, underemployed, sign up for Medicaid. Make sure right. you get the health insurance so you can take care of yourself. Men should be checking their prostate. Women should be checking for breast cancer, cervical cancer. Right. And if you're struggling with and any mammograms, mammograms. Mm -hmm. if you're suffering from any substance use, you get help with that. Yeah. Medicaid is where it's at if you are uninsured from a private cover. And I'm telling you, it works, man, because I had never been on it in my life. But once I had got on it, I was like, man, I ain't used to this stuff, man. You got to do this and do this and do this. I just used to pay my insurance and go to any doctor yeah. I wanted to. But once no, I, I understood <laughs> once I understood the system and how it worked, yeah. I'm telling you, it worked in my favor. Then they was giving me food stamps. Yeah. What? So make sure I got food stamps right now, big fella. Yes, sir. <laughs> I got, I got, hey, look, man, it was good. You just never know who you might run into. And it's always good to run into people, man, and talk to I never knew what the state rep did. That's I right, never yeah. knew. Now I know. So it's good to get information and education about how the state can work for you. So that's enough of this right now. There might be somebody else pull up while I'm over here. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace.